What's up you guys, it's Steve here and I have breaking news. This is your stimulus check update and your stimulus package update. Everything that you heard before about the arrival time for the stimulus package and the stimulus checks, well, it all could be changing as we now have a schedule update as of today, February the 16th. So I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna get you guys caught up as to what unfolded today that's gonna be changing the schedule. Now, before we do that though, if you do me a quick favor, if you like and appreciate these updates that keep you up to date on everything that's unfolding, if you could just take a second to ever so gently destroy the like button. I would appreciate it. It helps out the channel. Like button, comments, and sharing these videos out to anybody that you think might be interested. It helps out the channel. Thank you so much. And if you're not already a part of the viewing community, the Ram Fam, why not join? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so that way as soon as I upload, you can get notified and know what's going on right away. And we just hit 100,000 subscribers. So I'm gonna be giving away free money. I'm gonna randomly select four subscribers here on the channel and I'm gonna give them $250 each just as a way to say thank you to the viewing community. And for extra brownie points, follow me on Instagram as well at steveram3. Follow my wife at modestmomof2 and tell her that Steve sent you. And if you guys have questions, Instagram is a great way to reach me. Go ahead and shoot me a DM because here on YouTube, I do my best to respond to as many questions, but there's a lot, so I miss a lot of them. So Instagram is a great way to reach me as well. But now let's go ahead and dive into the latest that's unfolding as of today that's changing the schedule potentially for the checks, the provisions, and the package. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, as many of you guys know, just a couple days ago, I did an update on the schedule from Congress. I did it in this video right here where I listed out the latest dates that we have from them and when you can expect to see the checks while dancing to music. Now, even though the dates are old, it's still worth checking out that video for the dancing, right? Right? Well, it, even if not, it's, it's only a minute long, so go ahead and check it out right here. But the dates that we had previously heard have changed now. So I'm gonna be diving into an article that's gonna give you the latest update as of today, and it's gonna be modifying the schedule that we had previously heard. So link in the description below to this article that just came out today that says, the House moves to finalize the next stimulus package by the end of next week. So this is getting delayed further out. We had heard it was gonna be the end of this week, and now they're pushing it back a week further. Now the article says that House Democrats are finalizing the details of President Biden's $1.9 trillion economic relief package and barreling toward a vote on the final legislation at the end of next week. And it says, Representative Steny Hoyer of Maryland, the majority leader, told the House Democrats during a conference call on Tuesday, that's today, that he hoped to have the legislation reach the House floor by next Friday, according to two people who were familiar with remarks. So previously we had heard from Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi that it was gonna be February 22nd. Now it's getting delayed even further. Committees have been meeting remotely during the House recess to haggle over the details of Mr. Biden's proposal, with the Budget and Rules Committee expected to be the last two panels to finalize the legislation in the coming days. So as you guys know, there's 12 different committees working on this and they're hoping to finalize everything from each one and have it ready. Now, if you didn't see in the last video, I covered the specific language that we got from the Ways and Means Committee on the checks, the unemployment, and all that is right here. Be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it. That just came out with the official text that's likely gonna be in the bill when finalized. Now, reading on it says, in its current form, the stimulus legislation would provide billions of dollars to schools, small businesses, bolster unemployment benefits, through the fall, deliver a round of $1,400 direct payments to individuals, and provide a gradual increase in the federal minimum wage of $15. Now, faced with a lapse of unemployment benefits beginning in mid-March, lawmakers hope to have the legislation passed through the House by the end of February. Before sending it on to the Senate, House Democratic leaders scheduled a series of phone calls this week with committees to brief rank-and-file lawmakers about the details of the emerging legislation. So even though they're on recess right now, they're still working behind the scenes trying to get things ready to get this passed before the end of March, then moved on to the Senate. And the cutoff date is still March 14th. That's when the current unemployment extension is gonna be expiring, and if they don't get it done by then, there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna be without any help at this time. Now, Democrats aim to pass the plan using the fast track budgetary process known as reconciliation. So they're gonna be doing this with a simple majority vote. They don't need Republican support. They're just gonna push through what it is they want, but the process of doing so is a little bit more complicated. Now it says this would allow them to push through the Senate simply with the majority vote. And it says, but it also requires lawmakers to adhere to a series of 
strict budgetary parameters designed to prevent the process from being abused with extraneous provisions that could derail certain liberal priorities, including the minimum wage increase. So they're going through a bit of a more of a process, but they'll be able to pass through whatever it is that they want at this time. So whatever you're seeing Democrats unified on and they are saying that this is going to be in the bill, that's likely what is going to be in the bill. And Republicans are not going to have any say on this as long as Democrats stay unified. But what we're hearing is that this process is getting delayed even further. And take a look at this. This just came out a couple hours ago. This is official from Steny Hoyer, the majority leader. It says floor schedule update. So an update for the floor of the House of Representatives from Steny Hoyer. And this came out, it says February 16, 2021 at 1.22 p.m. So it just came out a couple hours ago, Eastern Standard Time. And it says members are advised that the majority leader has announced the following changes to the House legislative schedule the week of February 22nd, 2020. They need to update their, their text there. And it says, um, votes are no longer expected in the House on Monday, February the 22nd. The first votes for the week will occur on Tuesday, February the 23rd at 6.30 p.m. So that's the soonest that they could be voting on this. And it says the House is now expected to meet on Friday, February the 26th. So between Tuesday and Friday, and we're hearing from the report we just heard a little while ago from Steny Hoyer that it's gonna be on Friday. So this is getting pushed back even further. Now, members are further advised that as work continues with the American Rescue Plan, it is possible that votes could occur in the House over the weekend. So if they don't get it done on the 26th, they're saying they might delay it even further out into that weekend, the 27th or the 28th. Now, this is a change from the previous announcement schedule. Yeah, we had heard before from Nancy Pelosi that it was going to be the 22nd, and now it's getting pushed back further. And here at the bottom, take a look at this. This is interesting. It says, if you have any questions, please contact Courtney Fry, Ray Salazar, or Deborah Rowe at 5-3130. I might try to reach out to them and see if I can get any information. Or if you do, let me know what they have to say. Maybe we can get an exclusive here for the Ram Fam. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But you guys, I'll be sure to keep you guys up to date on what's unfolding here with the schedule. Once again, if you haven't already, be sure to check out this video right here where I cover the text that came out from the Ways and Means Committee from the CBO official text that's going to be in the bill. And also too, if you haven't seen, I'm starting a new series on investing for stocks and real estate and things, just some things to help improve financial situations if you guys might be interested as well. And once again, you guys, if you made it this far and you haven't already, take a second to smash the like button, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and I'll do my best to keep you guys up to date on everything that's rolling out right now with the economy, the news, and uh, you name it. Well, you guys, I hope this reaches you well. Have a blessed Tuesday. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.